Yeah, day one was great. It, it wrapped up on time. We got what we needed. We thought the power outage was going to be the only stumble we were going to hit. But it turned out there was a couple of surprises in store for us in the coming days. Uh, so we're just getting here. We're getting wardrobes ready for the first scenes that we're shooting. Trying to figure out who's wearing what, who's changing, who's not changing. It's a little confusing. So we just had our Britney Spears moment, but that's over now. We gotta work. Oh, come on. No, that's that over. No, you, you gotta catch me like what's that word? Like um Spontaneous. Yeah, in the moment. I, I can't do it on camera. I'm not a good actress. Is your belt on backwards? This is how it was yesterday. It's your character, but you have to always do that now. Oh, that's I. This is the only way I wear really? my belt. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was that you made a choice. Now I actually don't know. <laughs> I think going into day two felt really good. We had more to do, and it meant we only had two days left in the locker room, so that was a bit stressful, but yeah, I was excited and, and ready to go. Yeah, I was I was jazzed. I was jazzed to see, uh, we had some fun stuff on the slate, and I'm just excited to see what the cast did with it. Well, this morbid <laughs> bitch just got into the fucking School of Economics at Harvard motherfucking University. <laughs> Tap sisters on top! Okay, now let's all get us some winners some drinks, because I want to get ripped! <laughs> Woo! Hey. And, then we, and then we just die into there. We shot this morning the first uh, couple scenes of the first episode. Our team has a big, amazing win, and I get to spot my, uh, the apple of my eye, Chip, the new uh, team member from Texas. Jesse, I pride myself on judging people with little to no info. And that one's a choir boy. And choir boys are kind of my specialty. I'm sorry, Juice Box, but what we have there is a small town boy who's trying to break out of his shell, which is actually my specialty. Uh, day two is more uh, locker room stuff again, which is uh, which is always a little, you know, claustrophobic because it's, it's uh, so hot and, and muggy down there. I feel like everyone who's talking about the locker room is going to be saying the same thing. It's, it's so hot and muggy down there. But it is truly uh, tough. I think today was a little, like just slightly tougher because uh, to the day was actually so muggy too. And there was a little bit of uh, humidity in the air. So uh, it, was, uh, it was a little bit uh, extra. But our wonderful uh, crew here managed to wrangle up yep. uh, air conditioning. I don't know that the AC really helped that much because we could only turn it on for short periods of time. It ended up being a big thing. So we had to run this like big long thing down the stairs and it would cool. It basically cooled like a four foot sphere and everything else was still very hot. But it was better than nothing. I'm glad we got it. Yeah, it was better than nothing. But it also it also slowed things down because you, so you add something that they have to move a giant tube around. So all of a sudden there's someone who has to be in charge of the tube and somebody in charge of turning it on and off. So. It meant now those people couldn't do other things. They were in charge of the air conditioner. Yeah. It, it made things more comfortable, but also you run a bunch of lights and nine people and 10 crew in a small room, no air conditioner is gonna save you. Yeah, it's just hot. This is part of the thing, it's part of the deal. Also made us feel like, you guys, you guys are a little hot? Boom, we got an air conditioner. You know, anything you need. The bare minimum working conditions, boom, you got it. More like, you said like Lego. Okay. Yeah, we can do a Lego. Um, yeah. All right, nice and quiet, guys. Because this ain't no, this ain't no beer league. You know Danny Muniz? You played a season for the Royals? 26 games. 26 games in the show. Uh, line? And you know where he started? In the show, and you know where he started? Right here. Well, not right here. But in the real locker rooms. Fucking locker rooms. This, right? Oh, yeah. One, two, three. See their hand, right? We don't matter. One, two, three. Boing. Boing, 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 you listen to the right same 10 songs. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Paradise by the Dashboard Light, uh, Summer Lovin', uh, uh, Like a Prayer, Like a Prayer. These 
suits are made for walking. Yeah, those, those one that was, that was, well, that was Actually, good. the time that I was doing it, uh, really, really popular. I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. Yeah, they used to sing that all the time. <laughs> so welcome to my crib. Come on down, I'll show you around. So, if you ever got lost, you always know. This way is the nine. So here we got the uh, private corridors. These are my uncles. Oh, hi there, you guys. Hey. Okay. So this way, it's sort of my closet. It doesn't look like I got much clothes, but it's under everything, right? So got my beverages and everything parked. Over here, this is where the real party goes down. This, this is the pool room. You know, so we get a little swim action going on. Pretty nice, eh? Big shower, huge shower. <coughs> the showers are under construction right now, so you know what? I'm not gonna show you that quite yet. But yeah, this is where the magic happens. All right, let's bring a cam over to the doorway on the sticks. No, I think I think roll, rolling. How's your how's your dexterity? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just and then. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just have some some on standby there. Yeah. But we'll and, and then in the next scene she'll be smoking the one that she was rolling. But we'll use a, one of yours for that. This this is why I should be playing center field. Yeah, bro. Nice grab. Yeah, that's a general idea. All right, let's shoot it. All right. Cool. I'll use my Shakespeare voice to make sure that I'm heard. Ah. All right, let's go. <laughs> So we're, uh, we've got a couple hours left in the day. We've shot some big scenes. We shot one, uh, episode one, the like first scene in the locker room, the second scene, third scene in the locker room. Those are big scenes, so we, we shot a lot of coverage for those, but it's a big moment. We get to meet everybody. It's our first time together. Uh, we just did a big standoffish scene between No Name and the Berg. That, that, that was like pretty tense. It was really hot down there, so it helped make everyone feel really tense and uncomfortable. Uh, and now we're about to go into a scene where the Berg loses his concentration. Uh, yeah, so a lot of like three, four, five, six big scenes already. A couple more to go. We've had, um, we've had a fun weather day. We had a blackout due to, well, that might have just been a fun power. We've got a tornado warning going on and all the signs in the area are like shaking like mad. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, that's true. We lost power midway through like a setup. And we only had one shot left to go in the scene and the power went. So it's like you get your momentum and then the power goes and you sit around for 10 minutes and lose it all. But with power through it? Yeah, yeah. No, we're good. Everybody's doing great. Cast, fantastic. How's the heat down there? It's hot. It's hot. It's, hot. I'm not, it's, it's, it's like 30 degrees out here and it feels so comfortable. I could live in this. No, it's, it's much cooler now, but it definitely is really hot. There's also some chafing going on. Thing. I can speak for a lot of people. So what are your chafing solutions today? That's great. Um, I usually change, do a full wardrobe change somewhere uh, between like third and fourth scene of the day. So I shaved my testicles, so I thought that would be a nice smoother. I shaved yesterday, so I'm getting some, some growth back, so it's not helping. I did bring shorts, but I didn't change into them. But just knowing I have them, I think is helping. Mm -hmm. And Michael's also a swimmer, so he's like his legs well, are totally shaved as well. I don't swim professionally anymore. I don't swim professionally anymore. No, but you're a swimmer. Eh, I mean, I was. Phelps once said that I was the fastest guy in the pool. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he was he was joking. But I'm still pretty yeah. fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was, like, I was fast that day. I don't swim much anymore. Mm -hmm. um, how is uh, how's it going in terms of uh, your relationship with each other? How was your... Uh, I, I know you guys had a big fight, big blowout on day one. Have you recovered from that yet? Oh, this was that we started. Recovered. We started well. Very well. And there was some tension midway around I, said, lunch. I at one point said I was the real director, and then yeah. Dan at some point stormed out and said, "Why well, don't you talk to the director?" Yeah, because he was sarcastic. And then, yeah. then I had to go run to the bank, and I wasn't thrilled about that. I thought I was gonna have to bike, yeah. but I didn't have to bike, so that was good. Yeah. I think we're good now. Yeah, no, we're good now. Yeah, yeah totally. I think at the end of day two, because uh, we had some big group scenes, we, we were shooting with all the cast. Uh, I think we were we were a little bit behind. We had to catch up a little bit. 
So we left feeling really good about the material we got, but we knew we had to make up some time and we also knew that the next day was our last day. So that was it. We only had one chance to get all the locker room stuff and that was the next day. Mm -hmm.